Hey, it's Pony, and today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to use the scoreboard command. This is one of the most useful commands there is in the game, and if you like creating your own maps or mini games or even add ons, I would recommend learning how to use this command since it's really useful and there's a lot of things that you can do with it. Uh, so, first, I'm going to show you a few examples of what you're able to make using this command. And the first example is just a money system. Uh, this is one of the most common uses for this command. So, if I click on this button, it adds a money scoreboard and I can use this scoreboard to buy and sell items. So if I click on this button, uh, I can use this to sell apples. I set it up so I could sell apples. So if I click it, it removes one apple and gives me 10 points for it. So this is how you could sell items, but you could also use this to buy items. Uh, so, you, so if I click on this button, it removes 10 points and gives me one apple. And you can set this up however you want. So it could give you as much points as you want for the item. And you could, it could also be any item or anything that you want. And another use for this command is that you can use it to keep track of how much time people have been playing in your world. So if I click on this button, it adds a minutes scoreboard. And this one will keep track of how much time people have been playing in your world in minutes. So if I wait here a minute, it's going to add one to my scoreboard. And I'll skip the video until it gives me the point. And it just gave me a point to the minute scoreboard. And this will keep adding a point to the to the minute scoreboard for every minute that I spend in the game. There's one way that you can keep track of how long people have been in your world. And one way that you can use the scoreboard is that you can give them access to a specific part of your world once they have a certain amount of minutes played or or anything else. Or you could also give them special abilities after a certain amount of time. It's really up to you how you want to use this. Another really good use for this is that you can use it as a kill counter. So if I click on this button, it adds a kill scoreboard. And I can use this scoreboard to keep track of how many kills I have. So if I summon a zombie, once I kill it, I get a point for killing it. And and this will give me a point every time I kill any mob. So you could also use this to give a special ability to the players after they've gotten a certain amount of kills. So in this world, I set it up so once I get 5 kills, I level up and I get permanent strength 3. But you could also do a lot of different things with this. You could also make it so once they get a certain amount of kills, a door opens or they get teleported or whatever you want to do. And let me show you this last example. And for this one, I made it so it has a scoreboard that keeps track of how many blocks you've broken in the game. And this one will give me a point for every time I break a block. And once I reach a certain amount of blocks, it's gonna give, I'm going to level up. It gives me a particle effect and it also gives me haste 3 permanently. So you could also set this up however you want. Uh, this is just an example of one thing that you could do with it. And yeah, let me show you how to use this command. So first, let me show you how to add a new scoreboard objective. So to add a new objective, you can use this command, which will be scoreboard objectives add, and then the name of your objective. For this one, I'm just going to call it tutorial, but you could call it whatever you want. And then dummy, and then you can set a display. So this is the name of the objective, but this is what's going to be displaying whenever you display, like here in the sidebar or wherever you choose to display it. And I'll show you how to how to display it right now. Uh, but for this one, for the name of the objective, I would recommend uh, just using lowercase letters. That way you don't get confused whenever you're trying to remember uh, what name you used. Uh, and then for the display name, this is where you can where you could add capital letters or change the color. That way it's much easier. It just makes things a lot easier. It makes it less confusing if you just use lowercase here. You can use capital, but it is case sensitive. So uh, you got to remember if you use uh, lowercase or uppercase. Uh, but yeah, this is how you add a scoreboard. So if I click this button, it added the new scoreboard objective called tutorial. Uh, and you don't have to type it in inside of a command block. I just uh, typed it in here because it's much easier for me. You could also just type it in here, but it's up to you. And to remove a to remove an objective, all you would have to do is type in uh, scoreboard objectives, and then remove, and then the name of the objective you want to remove. So if I want to remove the objective that, that I just made, which is called tutorial, I would just type it in like this and that removes the objective but I'm going to re-add it because I'm going to use this one and now let me show you how to set a display for the objective so to add a display you can do scoreboard objectives and then set display and you get three options you can set it up in the sidebar which would be here or you can do list or below name 
it's up to you. You can choose whichever one you want. So if you wanted to set it in the sidebar, you could just type in sidebar and then the name of the objective minus tutorial. That's the name of the objective I made. So if I enter this one, it sets it up uh, here on the right side. If you choose below name, uh, it will show up here. The only thing about this one is that you cannot see your own scoreboard. So you're able to see other players' scoreboard, but you're not able to see your own. So if you choose below name, uh, if it looks like it's not working, it is working. You just can't see your own. You just, you'll just be able to see other players, but not your own. And you could also do list. So you could do scoreboard, objectives, set display, and then list. And then the name of your objective. And this one will set it up here and it will show the points or the score on each player's name. So that's how you set a display. So you can choose any of these three or all three, whatever you want to use. And now let me show you how to add and remove points to the scoreboard. So you can use this command, which would be scoreboard players add at P. And then uh, you could also change this at P to uh, the player's gamer tag if you wanted to. So if you wanted to add points to a specific player. You could type in their name here instead of at P and then the name of the scoreboard mine is called tutorial and then the amount that you want to add to their to their score. So right now I have it said so it only adds one point to their score. So if I click it right now it only adds one point and it adds me into the scoreboard. If I click it again it adds another one and it's just adding one at a time. But you could change this around so if I wanted to add three so every time I click this it would add three. And you can change this number to whatever you want, but I'm just going to leave it at one. And to remove from their scoreboard, you would do, it's pretty much the same commands, but instead of add, it would be remove. So it would be scoreboard players, remove, add P, then the name of the objective, mine is called tutorial, and then the amount that you want to remove. So right now it's only removing one at a time. So if I click it, it only removes one at a time. And, but like I said, you could do whatever number you want. So if I want to remove five at a time, and that's how that one works. Another thing you can do is that you could set uh, their score to a specific amount. Uh, to do that, you would do scoreboard players set at P and then the name of the objective, mine's called tutorial. And the, then you put the number you want to set their score to. So this, uh, this will set their points to a specific amount. So this will set to 50. This isn't adding 50, this is just setting it to 50. So this one's very useful when you never you want to set their score to a specific amount. This won't add any more points, it just sets it to that amount. And you could set this or you could change this to whatever number you want. So if I put 999, if I click it, now it sets my score to 999. And that's how you use the set. But you could also reset their score. So if I click this button, it resets the score, it removes all the points. And to do that, you do scoreboard players reset at p and then the name of the objective like i said minus tutorial so whatever objective you choose that it will reset their score and another really useful command is giving them a random number uh, i use this one a lot and when i make add-ons this is really useful when you want to give them a whenever you want to make like a randomizer so to do that you would do scoreboard players random at p and then the name of the objective and then you choose two numbers so so if i wanted it to give me a random number between one and ten right now if i set it like this it will give me any number between one and ten so if i click it here give me a five if i click it again it gives me a ten one six it will keep giving you random numbers but it it will just be between the numbers you choose so it won't go past 10 so it won't give you like 11 12 or anything higher or it won't it will also not give you a zero or anything below one but you can change the numbers around so you can make it so it, it gives you a random number between 5 and 18 just as an example so if i click it here it will just give me a random number between any, any of those two but you can set this up however you want. Another thing you could do is that you could test the scoreboard. So to do that, you could do scoreboard players test at P and then the name of the objective minus tutorial and then the number you want to test. Uh, so if you put, so if you put like a four here, it will test to see if they have at least four on that scoreboard. 
So if you leave it like this, it's going to test to see if they have a the minimum of four. So if they have at least four, it will come back as true. Uh, but if they don't, it will come back as false. And you could do, you could also test to see if they have a, between two numbers. So if they have between four and 10, so if they have any, so if their scores is between any, anywhere between four and 10, it will come back as true. And if they don't, if they have like three or two or one, it will come back as false. Also, if they have 11, 12 or 13, it will also come back as false. And you can use this for a lot of different things. So if I click it now, it doesn't do anything because I have 15. So it's not between four and 10. But if I switch this to 20, so now we'll be testing to see if I have at least between four and 20, if my score is between four and 20. Uh, so mine is set to 15 right now. So if I click it, it, it comes back as true. And you could do, and one thing you could do with this is that you could use it to activate a uh, redstone, or you could also use it to activate another command. So if their score is between four and 20, like I have it set up right now, you could also make it so it activates another command. So you could, use this for a lot of different things and I'll show you some examples right now. And yeah, that's just the basics of how you can use this command. And this tutorial is already pretty long, so I'll make a part two showing you how to create a few different things using this command. Uh, but if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll try to answer them.